So the starters orders chase final is next then. It's two and a half miles again. Sometimes this is one over the Grand National Course, sometimes it isn't. So I don't know where we are today. Well, it's two and a half miles, it's back at old at the top for David Robertson. Sponge Bandit, Ryan Costello, the Killer Queen, Joshua Sutherland, in to win David Hooley. Time to leave Craig Beckwith, Glowing Shrew, and Aconitum Half for James Shea. Lexington Spiel, Vinnie Gerrard, Eleanor Rigby for Marty Leader, Murder on My Mind, Ryan Costello, Kyle Rear and El Sophia Miller for Thomas Rogers, Cad Bean, Ryan Costello, Woodlass Drummer, and Ignatiev Kalanisi for James Shea. Merchant's Hill for Graham Clutterbuck and Papillon Putin for Alex Cherry. So quite a few double, triple or whatever handy then in this as they get off and race away. And Ignatiev Kalanisi, one of the army of James Shea runners, is in the lead. He's taken the hurdle final already. He's going to try and do the double as they race down towards the first of the 14 fences, which makes me think we're on the mild May course for this one, which I think we have been for the last season or two as they get down eventually to it. It's Ignatiev Kalanisi who's gone on from the nose-banded Papillon Putin in second. They are on the mild May course and over that one we go. And Ignatiev Kalanisi is the clear leader by four or five lengths to Papillon Putin in the noseband over on this side of the track with Lexington Spiel nearest to us. They get to the second and they're not hanging about the stake there by the horse who was challenging for second. That was Cad Bean. But they're going lickety split and Ignatiev Kalanisi is probably setting it up for one of his stable mates as they get over flight fence number three. And Ignatiev Kalanisi is eight lengths clear of time to leave in second. Papillon Putin third, Lexington Spiel four. Then Cad Bean five and Elsa Piamela six. Then comes Kyrie and the Killer Queen back at old Rack and item half is after that one as they get Get over fence number four, they're all getting them over them okay. Into win is just about the back marker in the purple jacket with a white face wide on the track. But Ignatiev Kalanisi is well clear of time to leave and Papillon Putin. Then Cad Bean is tucked in behind him. Elsa Fiamella is next. Then Sponge Bandit, Lexington, Spiegel and Carl Rear as they take the fifth. And over that one again, one or two of them down on their nose. And Cad Bean wasn't foot perfect. Sponge Bandits moved through into third, but it's Ignatiev Kalanisi who's in the lead then racing down towards the next. It's Ignatiev Kalanisi who takes this one to be the second last, I think, of the next circuit. And there's a faller into wins gone. So into wins gone at the back then. With Ignatiev Kalanisi in front by a good five lengths then. As they pass the big screen then there. And take the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit. And all the remaining runners are over it safe. They're going to come past the winning post and then swing out for one more circuit of the track. It's Ignatiev Kalanisi who's five lengths clear. Off Papillon Putin in second. The Sponge Bandit is third. Carl Rear is four. Then Lecter's Bill is five. And Elsa Fiamella is six. And then time to leave seven. Then Cadbean is eight. Merchant Hill is nine. And then comes the Killer Queen and Eleanor Rigby. And Glowing Shrew. Murder on my mind. Aconitum half. And finally Woodlass Drummer with back at all being pulled up. Coming out of the home straight and going straight back to the state. So it's Ignatiev Kalanisi who's led all the way so far. Papillon Putin is in second place. Then comes El Sofia Miller and Kyle Rear. Time to leave and Sponge Bandit are next there. Pretty closely bunched now behind this leader. Ignatiev Kalanisi who leads only by two now to Papillon Putin who's still travelling well in second place. Then moving through into third, El Sofia Miller, Sponge Bandit, Kyle Rear. Over that one they go. Really good jump there by Papillon Putin and see it go up alongside the long time leader Ignatiev Kalanisi. And Papillon Putin might be just about in the lead then now. It's Ignatiev Kalanisi on the inside. Papillon Putin on the outside. Kyle Rear, Lexington Spill. Then the, the Killer Queen and Eleanor Rigby are trying to get in with as well. There's still a long way to go. And over the 10th they go. And now Papillon Putin has gone too clear. Papillon Putin from Ignatiev Kalanisi. Woodlass Trumbull's a faller at the back. Ignatiev Kalanisi is fighting back on the outside now. Then Lexington Spill. El Sophia Miller. The Killer Queen trying to get into it as well. So too is Eleanor Rigby. Over the third last they go that was the sorry that was the fourth last they've still got three more to take and it's Papillon Putin being pressed again by Ignatiev Kalanisi and now the Killer Queen comes around the outside Lexington Spiel is next then comes Time to Leave Sponge Bandit and also Helena Rigby still there Cadbean's trying to get into it as well there's still three to take 
and the Killer Queen gets over to third last in front from Ignati of Kalanisi in second. Then comes Lexington Spiel. Eleanor Rigby's in fourth. Then Carrier and time to leave. Coming down towards the final two fences now. The final two furlongs. And the Killer Queen's gone for home. Killer Queen over it in the lead. Eleanor Rigby made a mistake when challenging. Lexington Spiel's now come through in the second. It's the Killer Queen who's suddenly two or three clear. And the Killer Queen is in front from Lexington Spiel. Merchants Hills come from nowhere. Carrier is there as well. They've only got one more to take and a short run in the Killer Queen. It looks like she's only got to jump it. The Killer Queen pops over it nicely, gets away from it well. And the Killer Queen is going to be another one for Joshua Sutherland as they race towards the line. It's the Killer Queen and takes it. Kyle is second and then glowing through. And that Lexington Spieling, Natty of Kalanisi stuck on well all the way back to Papillon Putina who ended up last. And a thrilling start as order seven final, chase final, goes the way of Joshua Sutherland with the Killer Queen winning it pretty comprehensively and let's take a look at the full list one or two of those challenges petered out but the killer queen takes it for joshua sutherland kyle rear for thomas rogers was second glowing shrew for james shea third lexington spiel for vinnie gerald was fourth and ignatiev kalanisi for james shea was fifth